Good morning, guys, and God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail. We are in Colleyville today, guys. We are in Colleyville, and I'm working on another Forerunner. Uh, the only difference is this one has much more meaning than any other one. All the Forerunners I've done have been amazing. I love them, and I'm grateful for them. But this one in particular definitely caught my attention, guys. Uh, so this customer. I guess just let me just picture this while I'm working on it and I'm not even gonna work a lot about the process or anything it's more of just imagine you waking up one morning right you're waking up going to work and obviously many of you guys know we suffered a big storm a couple of weeks back and this customer's vehicle was actually in that accident this is a 2020 Forerunner TRD Pro. Customer previously had an FJ Cruiser, which you guys are gonna be seeing on this next clip that I, I made. Um, but it's crazy how in time, you know, I'm blessed to be alive. Many of you guys who have followed me know about my injury on my left side. You know, 150 miles an hour on a motorcycle. You hit a side barrier, head on first. You know, I should be dead, guys. But I will forever be grateful for the staff, for the paramedics, firefighters, police, everybody that showed up on that day to keep me alive and, you know, to help me through that, you know, those couple months of injuries that I had. Um, but anyways, long story short, you know, this customer's vehicle literally was totaled. Um, and it's truly a blessing to see him walk, literally walk. Injuries are very minor. And you guys will see on that clip how this vehicle uh, how that fj turned all right so i don't want to bore you guys i'm going to continue doing this iron decon which smells this is the mcguire's uh mcguire's uh iron decontamination for the wheels as well which there is a lot of iron literally i can see it start uh purpling so i'm gonna give it another like three minutes uh the wheels are purple uh, so i'm gonna give it a couple more minutes uh for all this to really uh work itself in there and then uh Enjoy this next clip and we'll be back. brakes on and it was a little too late because I had already hit black ice. It was, I was just a sitting duck at that point. I saw a massive pile up in front of me. Um, there were cars piled up on trucks. It, it was, it, I'd never seen anything like it. I looked up in my rearview mirror to make sure there were no cars, but there was a truck heading straight for me. Sparks were flying off of the, the center median. And I just kind of, I, I braced myself and, and, and hoped for the best. My vehicle was launched over the center barrier. I did a roll in the air, all while sitting in it. And I landed, fortunately wheels down, on my roof rack that had dislodged. I, I moved my legs. I, I was still awake. I crawled out. That was the only way I could get out of that vehicle. There was a couple fire trucks, fire crews that started walking down towards my way and they started jumping in the, the pile of mess there. And there's a firefighter uh, carrying a, a patient, uh, this lady, and, and she was seemed like she was in agonizing pain. And, and so I, you know, uh, I walked over there and we, I helped carry her across the, uh, the northbound lanes and we, we helped hoist her up onto the stretcher. I think jumping in is what really kind of kind of helped me cope with what just happened. It just helped, it helped me deal with the whole situation. The, the safety features of the Toyotas are beyond anything that, you know, I, I, I could wish for. Welcome back guys. Well, as you saw on that clip, 
it was truly a uh, what a story first of all what a blessing um, to be alive guys what a blessing um, to mr. Trey if he watches this video you know God bless you sir you know and everything that's coming your way it's truly a blessing to be able to uh, have the opportunity to meet you um, but his FJ was totaled and Toyota gave him a brand new TRD Pro so I couldn't pass up the opportunity it's not about the likes it's not about the glory that you know I'm, I'm not looking for any type of you know like oh you, many people will say oh, you're doing this just for to get praise or whatever um, but for those who truly know me know that I am a person that I, I love to give back I love to help and I just couldn't pass up this opportunity you know some may say wow you're losing a lot of money today but to be honest uh, I've always said it I walk by faith not by sight you know God has uh, taken care of my life tremendously and you know losing today is not really losing for me other than gaining um, so that's the way I see it but overall paint is in great shape uh, we're reading around I think like three mils on this brand new uh, 2020 uh, TRD Pro but I really don't want to make this video long um, we are at 3.82 mils so let's continue and let's have some fun guys alrighty guys hopefully you guys can hear me you guys can see me um, what a uh, what a video huh that was uh, whenever I saw that video guys that uh, that video really uh, it, it really touched me it really got to me uh, because <laughs> we really only have one life and <laughs> after seeing that video and that impact it uh, it's a blessing it's truly a blessing so um, I'm giving this customer a free uh, ceramic coating we're doing a nine-year coating um, for him the vehicle I think is usually outside I think so the nine-year coating will definitely fight all the elements uh, and just uh, keep it keep it clean um, obviously after this route you know no more hand washing nothing like that so I'm using the Rupes uh, medium cut pad with the um, we're using uh, Coach Kemi. They are some pretty heavy scratch marks on the, uh, obviously from the brushes, I think from the dealership. So um, I'm using a much more heavier cut uh, pad. Uh, I mean, heavy cut polish, uh, just so I can get more into the paint. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, and little twist, this vehicle doesn't fit in the garage. Um, <laughs> so can you ceramic coat outside? <laughs> we'll find out. Um, I've done it many times. I've coated vehicles outside out in the elements. Um, so stay tuned for that. It is a little bit of a process. You have to pay attention to your coating, when to buff off and everything, because obviously you're working with a heated panel. Uh, I may drive it around the back. There's a little bit of a shade, not a lot, um, but we will make it happen. So. Let me uh, polish this area and let's keep going. It is now uh, time to coat it. Um, I just finished doing the paint prep pretty much. I used uh, Duplicolor grease and wax remover. Uh, that is what I use uh, after I polish a vehicle to remove the polish. And now we have a virgin paint now. <laughs> We're just into that little issue where the uh, the Forerunner is not going to fit uh, in the garage. So I kind of have to improvise a little bit. Right now I'm going to start coating on the driver's side. And I'm going to hit everywhere where the shade is. Alright. And then what I'm going to end up doing most likely is reversing the car and doing the whole other side. But I think uh, the pattern is... As the sun is progressing, it's giving me more shade, uh, so I'm okay. I think we're gonna we're gonna do pretty good. Um, this isn't this isn't the first time I have coated outside, so I'm pretty used to it. Um, so 
let me get the coating and we'll be back it's now time to coat i have done the uh front grill already i've done the uh, hood <laughs> it is so slick but for those that wanted to i guess uh see or or if i think many uh are overthinking the process of coating all right now i'm not gonna sit here and say that you know it's it's it's, it's easy because it, it, it's it takes a couple of of practice so uh, I'm using uh, the DPC uh, T9. This is a, uh, it's part of the 9H family. Uh, so once it cures, obviously it's gonna add uh, some microns to the clear to give it that durability, of course, throughout the years. Um, but the way I do it, guys, is pretty much since I am working out in the elements right now, I literally overdo the coating. I do it very heavy because since I'm working outside, if I only do a little bit, then it starts curing quickly. This coating here will, uh, you know, the flashing part, this one doesn't do, uh, you know, a lot of flashing, um, but you're able to at least, uh, you'll, you'll know uh, once this uh, coating starts um, flashing. So you'll see it kind of, for me on this one, it kind of like dries up and you'll know very quickly. So right now it's looking kind of wet. And let me see, I don't wanna overdo it because I can, you know, if I let it sit there too long, then I can be in some big trouble. So pretty much right there guys is, uh, it's flashing right in front of your eyes, right? That little spot right there is starting to cure or flash. So you get your towel, guys. One towel is to blend the product in. And I just do it like this, guys. All right. And then the other towel is going to be your buff off. All right. So with the uh with this coating they say one towel you're good just flip it over um but i guess i just got used to the two towel one to blend and the other one just to finish the removing the coating therefore uh you don't have high spots so when you're working with coating guys if you don't remove the coating correctly as it cures it will tend to leave you high spots and if that happens most likely you would need to come back and uh, remove it by polishing or some coatings they say would be wet sanded so and there you go guys it is that simple this thing is slippery and that is how easy guys you um you install a ceramic coating and remove it it is very simple yet uh, can be very uh, frustrating at times so let's continue again I do heavy and we're doing half now if you're looking for a coating that flashes that flash boy them dog sounds like they're outside <laughs> um, I recommend you get uh, t6 plus uh, they just reamped the new formula and that one flashes guys so if you're looking for a coating that has flashing t6 plus is a six-year coating part of the 9h family uh, and that one flashes and we're going to blend the coating it's that quick guys so obviously i'm working out in the elements so you got to pay attention to it when working outside because last time you last thing you want is to uh miss it and it becomes very very grabby so there you go 
all right so overall this truck this uh forerunner had just some minor you know scuffs here and there obviously from factory but we got it dialed in now the coating is gonna take take care of everything so we'll be back with the finished product guys this uh so i'm now to this side um and i was showing you guys obviously in the shade but i want to show you guys actually right now the the clouds are moving in so in a way kind of cooling down the panels but the sun comes out but i want to show you guys i know many say don't coat out in the elements it is right now it is completely sunny guys and this is how i coat outside all right so the way i do it guys i kind of keep blending this in and then obviously since this panel is hot you can see the coating kind of start uh flashing and it starts feeling grabby so all i do is come and grab this towel and bam and many will say oh my god that is way too fast it is but given the circumstances i'm in this works and trust me when i come back here in a week i'll show you guys uh i'll show when i wash it uh, i'll show you guys that it cured perfectly i know many say not to do it but i coat in the elements all day every day and while you're here hit the plastic you know kind of glide over the forerunner sign a little bit like that grab your towel and buff it off it adds a nice uh it adds a nice color to plastic coatings um but it is that simple guys you know and i'm not gonna it took me a little while to really um find the groove on how to do this um but sometimes guys we don't have the leisure of working in a shop obviously if this one would have been uh not lifted or anything like that obviously it would have fit in the garage but he ended up lifting it up so we gotta work with what we got same thing give it just just a couple of seconds not too much because the sun is literally uh bright right now and let's go ahead and uh buff it off <laughs> man this thing after you remove the coating it's literally slick it is so slick um finish this right here and we will keep on going and usually when I coat guys I kind of over layer of the areas that I kind of uh, already coated so I just kind of just go over each section over it kind of like overlay it man this thing is so slick <laughs> and there you go guys that is how easy it is to coat again this all takes practice guys it's not something that you know it took me a good while to achieve but it can be done guys oh project trd pro is finally done guys i'm gonna give you guys a quick angle of this car how it looks and i will also bring uh forward mr mcdaniel so uh overall we did a one step uh pay correction and we ended up putting a nine year ceramic coating giving the scenarios here in texas i'll calculate a good six years out of the coating just because we have so many variables here in texas from hot days to cold days to snow to it's crazy so i'll give it a good six years of of uh, work if i get the full nine years hey more power to it 
we really don't hold our cars for more than probably four or five maybe three four years so you know usually we tend to trade vehicles nothing wrong with that so if he does then great you know but at least i know it is fully protected um it is a really nice color guys so let me um let me kind of give you guys a quick walk around on this paint but look at this paint guys this thing looks sick um obviously we went ahead and obviously we dressed your uh cleaned all the gas cap it's a brand new car guys so it wasn't really in bad shape man this thing is slick um but there you go guys obviously some of you guys like the reflection shots uh we are in overcast today we got rain coming in probably tonight so you know just bear with me with the gloss gloss shots but man this thing turned out really really nice obviously um we use the uh, drive auto appearance uh, tire dressing trim gel and these wheels from toyota i wish they really did a little bit better on putting a better uh, finish on them that way they don't get too bad the grime doesn't get stuck to them uh, but i did my very best in cleaning them but man this thing really looks amazing but all right guys some of you guys may be wondering did the fj fj was totally totaled it was totaled but you know i am beyond happy uh, to know that you know some people already uh, inboxed me about this and and asked me did he survive the question to that is yes and for that impact to be honest he probably maybe in a wheelchair but zero i mean I'm literally looking at him right now and I'll probably just bring the camera around so you guys can see him. He is fully walking, guys. This is Mr. Trey McDaniel, the owner of the FJ Cruiser that you guys saw on the accident with his brand new uh, TRD Pro. And again, you know, I just wanna say a huge, huge shout out uh, to Mr. McDaniel for uh the opportunity uh you know i've never met him till till today um but i'm blessed to at least have the opportunity to uh bless him with my work all right he doesn't know me never seen my work i reached out you know with with you know humbleness i'm not looking for any uh some people call it clout or you know any i'm not looking for that other than you know like i said in the beginning those who know me know that i'm a person who loves to give um you know his story relates so much to my story from my motorcycle accident and to know that he is walking with no wheelchair nothing like that is truly uh it's a blessing to be honest uh to be seeing him seeing that fj really kind of it, it uh, choked me up when i saw it because that thing was smashed um and in that moment i think um how you guys saw in the clip he got out and he was helping uh he was helping others that were in need while his body was in need of attention also you know this man was out there uh doing what what he loves and that's helping you know it's we're called to to serve you know and i'm very happy to have the opportunity to have met you uh personally uh so again thank you uh mr mcdaniel for the opportunity i hope that this will some way help you uh, keep the car clean in the long run and all the amazing projects that he's going to be doing on this thing is going to look so sick i already saw a couple glamps of what he's going to be doing to it um, and man it's going to look really sick so um, but again thank you thank you for the opportunity and and i hope i hope you like the final outcome yeah brother thank you man yeah man it thank was a pleasure you. thank you again so thank you so much man this is amazing <laughs> amazing work if, if i wish you guys could see this in person it's the job that he did is absolutely incredible. I've never seen never seen a new vehicle look this good before. It's, <laughs> it's wild. So. Yeah, so awesome. <laughs> thank you. Well, guys, I hope you guys have a, uh, a blessed Wednesday. Again, thank you for watching the video. Um, and as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. And we have a couple more videos coming up uh, with some other questions that you guys had. I'll be able to put those in there as well. So today's video was more of how to apply ceramic coating. I know somebody asked me. And I did it outside, so for the professionals, don't get mad at me. Uh, but other than that, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.